Hey guys, Puggos Pizzeria here, back with another video, and in today's video, we will be talking about if Steel Wool is buying Five Nights at Freddy's or even buying Scott Cawthon. You see, now, now that's kind of a crazy thing to say, but just before the video starts, in case you aren't already, please subscribe. I know I say this like every single video, but I actually mean it. It's not just something random I say. If you aren't subscribed right now, uh, like I know 75% of you aren't, you better subscribe. I put hours of work into my videos. Just subscribe, please. It really does mean the world if you guys subscribe. I know everyone says that, but it's because it's true. Everyone really appreciates when you guys just take some time to subscribe. So, in today's video, I will be talking about if Steel Wool could be buying Five Nights at Freddy's or Scott Cawthon. So, basically, I know this is sort of a outlandish, crazy claim to say. And before any of you go saying clickbait 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 first of all in the in the title i say that this is like speculation or things like that mm, i didn't say like it's 100 percent confirmed that steel wool is buying like five nights at freddy's and if, if you really want to go clickbait go to yesterday's video and listen to my small rant and then come back and if you understand all the points i made you can say clickbait and you, you can you can make your points and if your points are good enough I'll give you a little kiss on the cheek. We'll tuck you into bed. I'll read you. The, I'll read you a nice bedtime story. Okay, okay, that's very nice. So basically, uh, this video, uh, this was like some of my fans told me about this, and I thought it was kind of interesting. Interesting enough to make a video on this. So now I'm pretty sure, as most of you know, Five Nights at Freddy's, I would say, is a multi billion dollar video game like either very high million or up in the billions it is a you know this game has made so much money it is absolutely insane how much money this game has made it's just crazy and a lot of people lay I don't think they tend to think about how much money Scott Cawthon has really made from Five Nights at Freddy's he truly has made just a lot of money from it and it really is it's what can I say? It's kind of crazy how popular Five Nights at Freddy's has become, if you think about it, from when it first started as sort of just a small indie game to what it is now, a fully crazy game. Like, think about the very first FNAF game and just how the office looked with everything like that. It looks so much different now, and it looks so much better now. So I am very excited to see how Five Nights at Freddy's continues in the future. But, like... So, Steel Wool, as we know, their company for making games is very good. I don't think they've made any other games before, but the two games they have made, or the one and a half games they've made so far, uh, like FNAF uh, VR and FNAF Security Breach, and of course the updates in FNAF VR, are absolutely amazing. These games, I'm sorry to say this, they can't compare to Scott Cawthon's games. Scott Cawthon's games are are just because he was a he was one man doing this but these games compared to scott Cawthon's, are all off the charts they're in they're crazy okay these games look so good they're so clean they're so entertaining they have so much on with them i think scott Cawthon working with other companies really is the right way to go scott Cawthon doing all this is just really cool but like steel wall i think it is possible for them to buy five nights at freddy's I don't think Skull Coffin would want to sell it, but hypothetically, let's say he he would want to sell it. I think Steel Wool would definitely be the people to buy this. Of course, they've already made two games now. They've they're making Security Breach and they made FNAF VR with a Halloween DLC update, which was very nice. And uh, I'm pretty sure Scott definitely recognizes that FNAF VR is definitely one of the best games ever to come out of the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. Now, I know some of you may be saying, what if Illumix bought, FNA bought Five Nights at Freddy's? And I, I'm just saying that wouldn't happen. Illumix as a company is a lot smaller than, fi than Steel Wool. Um, now that I think about it, I do think Steel Wall has made other games, but just Illumix as a company, I don't think they have enough money, and I don't think they would want that responsibility to own the whole Five Nights at Freddy's franchise, especially with the decisions they're making. Instead of releasing a, a FNAF VR skin on Thursday, they decide to re-release a whole bunch of random skins and everything. Nobody wants that, okay? Nobody wants you to re-release the uh, skins you've already released. That's garbage. No one wants that. You should have released Funtime Freddy. Everyone is very angry at you. But in this video... <laughs> okay, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm I'm rambling on. But <laughs> I'm just... I'm very angry at Illumix for doing that and not giving us Funtime Freddy. 
but I think it is very plausible that Steel Wool could buy Five Nights at Freddy's. They've definitely made tons of money off FNAF VR, and they will make even more money off FNAF Security Breach, and I do think they could take Five Nights at Freddy's in a very good direction. With Scott Cawthon's leadership, I think Steel Wool could really make Five Nights at Freddy's even better than it, already, than it currently already is. I feel like they could also make better financial decisions with the merch, because honestly, I feel like Scott Cawthon should be harsher with the merch. You know those FNAF slime pieces of garbage? I cannot believe Scott Cawthon actually okayed Illumic- no, okayed that one company that made the FNAF Squishies to actually made that. That FNAF Blacklight Slime is absolutely disgusting, and I can tell that nobody will buy it, and it will just sit there on the shelves, because nobody wants that. It is really bad. But, I feel like Steel Wool buying Five Nights at Freddy's could really improve this. They would make a lot higher quality merch, they could, you know, hire better companies for, uh, Masso's example, NECA, to make really good, uh, figures. They could be a lot harder on Funko to make a lot better plushies and mystery minis and action figures, and to not rush the merch, like they did with all the Security Breach merch, so it doesn't turn out awful with bad designs, but they have them make really good merch, like the Security Puppet, or the Freddy Frostbear plushie. Because both of these are amazing plushies. They, they they really are. These plushies are so good. Freddy Frostbear and um Security Puppet. Oh my I'm literally drooling when I think about those. The the coolest things ever. I love them so much. But that's off topic. So I feel like if Steel Wool did buy Five Nights at Freddy's, I feel like it could make it even better. Now we know this uh like franchise is a very close to Scott Cawthon. It, it it's his big baby. And I could definitely tell that uh, I don't think he would ever want to sell the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. I feel like he will want to keep it until he dies, unless, he, you know, who knows, he might pa pass it off to his kids or something like that, but I feel like if he does pass it off to his kids, they're gonna, they're gonna mess it up. They don't, they don't, I feel like they wouldn't know what they're doing, unlike Scott Cawthon does, you know, since he made this whole franchise, but I feel like if Steel Wool were to actually buy the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise, I think it really would just be the best the best outcome for Five Nights at Freddy's if Skull Cawthon did decide to sell it. You see, now imagine how awful it would be if he sold it and then, like, for example, Disney bought Five Nights at Freddy's. That would be... Mm, no one would like that. That would be very bad. Or if some other random company bought Five Nights at Freddy's, especially, like, EA or something, that would be very bad for Five Nights at Freddy's and I would pr probably stop liking the franchise at that point. But, uh, yeah, that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. But please subscribe. I put in so much effort for my videos just for you guys. It absolutely means the world if you guys could just subscribe for me. You know, just press that little, little subscribe button. But, uh, yeah, that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoy. And I will see you all later. Goodbye!